Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and um, everything you could possibly need is in the description box below. Uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do monthly giveaways on this channel. Um, how to enter to win is very simple. The description, the um, the description, the instructions are in the description box below. Uh, recommended readers are below, um, decks used are below, my TikTok is below, so um, everything you could possibly need is down there. Okay, let's go ahead and get popping. We're going to start with the Oracle, um, and then we'll move into the Tarot, okay? <sighs> Holy Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got Discovery. Big happy changes. Community. No place like home. Don't let pride get in your way. And we've got control. Interesting. Sag, we've got discovery and big happy changes. So I feel here that obviously you have found something that makes you really happy or you're about to find out something that makes you really happy. Okay. Now this could be energy in or around you, Sag. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, or it could be something someone close to you is going through. Okay. So I feel like you have found something here and it's a big and happy change for you. It's going to make like your heart glow. I'm almost getting like this glowing coming from you here. Um, the problem here is with community and control though, it's almost like someone here is allowing their friends to control a situation. I feel like someone here may be talking to other people about a connection. Yeah, I feel like someone here may be so it's either someone here is talking to other people about this connection and these people control the way this person moves. So let's just say, Sag, if you're talking to somebody about this connection, you're pretty much doing everything your friends or family members are telling you to do um, or vice versa or this your person, you know, your person is is doing this. Now, another thing I'm picking up on here, Sag, is maybe someone here is just saying, I want to be just friends, and that's their way of controlling the situation so that they don't get hurt. And I say that because we've got don't let pride get in your way, and there's no place like home. So, Cancer, I feel like, can, not Cancer, excuse me, Sagittarius, um, I feel like there's somebody here that you feel at home with. There's someone here that feels at home with you. There's someone here that makes your heart very happy. You make their heart very happy. But pride is getting in the way here. Pride is getting in the way here. Uh, there may be other energies that are involved in this connection that are making it worse. I Or someone here is saying that they don't want an emotional attachment because they don't want to get hurt. And that's their way of staying in control of the situation or of their... You know, that's their way of staying in control so that they don't get hurt. So let's see what we have here. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. We've got community again. We've got change. We've got message in the reverse. And we've got occupation in the reverse. Sag, someone here, I, I feel like there's third party people here. It could be family. It could be friends. But someone here is saying, stop talking to this person. Stop putting your time and energy into this. Find something else. Find something else. Tell me about community, please. Tell me about community. We've got unexpected income in the reverse. Tell me about community. 
and high honor in the reverse. So Sag, I feel like these third party energies are like, I'm not shocked that this is happening. I can't pick this up. Th this isn't a shock. It didn't come as a shock to these people. Okay. But with high honor in the reverse, there's an energy of this isn't the one for you. You see what I'm saying? So someone here is talking to friends or family members. They're not shocked about the problems that are occurring. And they're saying, you know, this is someone that doesn't respect you or this is someone that doesn't want anything with you. This is someone that doesn't want to have a relationship with you. This is someone that you do you understand what I'm saying? Tell me about change, please. We've got gift and we've got concern. Yeah, so someone here is is worried about offering their time, their attention, their attention or their heart. So Sag, what someone is saying here is I'm worried about giving anything to this connection, so I'm going to start to change. I'm going to start to look for something else. And Sag, someone here is going to start talking less, messaging less, they're going to stop working on the connection less. Um and I I feel that so instead of talking to each other, do you understand what I'm saying and trying to work this out? Someone here is allowing friends or family to make these decisions for them. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. So we've got the sickle. We've got the fox in the reverse. And we've got the stars. One more, please. And we've got the owls. But here's the thing, Sag. I feel like you guys are cutting off this connection. And with the fox in the reverse, I, I feel like there's no lies here. I feel like no one here is playing games. I feel like no one here is trying to one-up the other person. I feel like both of you want this relationship. Like, I don't understand. Like, both of you want this relationship, but the insecurities and the lack of incommu uh, of incommunication, what is that? That's not even a word. <laughs> the lack of communication in the connection is not good. And what's happening is you guys are not talking to each other, but you're talking to everybody else, getting everyone else's opinion and allowing that to destroy the connection. So something here may be coming to an end. You know, this person is cutting you off, you're cutting them off. But it shouldn't be that way because you guys both want the connection. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. So we've got, yeah, this separation is not going to last. We've got children in the reverse. We've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Pay attention to the red flags and forgiving and learning. Okay, so... Here's the deal. Uh, here's the deal, Sag. I feel like you started something and it ended almost as quickly as it begun. But stay optimistic because it's coming back around. It's coming back around. You just have to understand one thing here, though, Sag. Whatever you're forgiving right now, whatever this red flag is that you're forgiving right now, for instance... If you're dealing with someone who values the opinion of their friends or their family over you, this is something that you're going to be having to forgive for the duration of the connection. So I feel like you're happy with this person. I feel like it is a, a strong connection. But just be aware that whatever problem, I'm seeing the tower card, Sagittarius, okay? So this is a connection where the tower could stand tall if you fixed the cracks in that foundation. The cracks are not being fixed. You're not patching up the cracks. You're not fixing the cracks. You're just saying, okay, well, you know, I forgive you crack for, you know, the building fell and I understand that it's cracked and I understand why it happened and it's okay. And, you know, I'm just going to rebuild this tower and hope that this time you do right by me foundation and you don't let the tower fall, but that's never going to happen. The crack is still there. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you're rebuilding the whole tower with the hope and faith that the crack isn't going to destroy your life. This It's not, it's not, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
even if you forgive this, it, the red flags are still there. You're not, you know, and Sagittarius, like I said, you could be making this mistake. Your person could be making this mistake. I don't know. But someone's putting the opinion of others before the connection. Divine intervention in the reverse. You are being redirected from relationships and situations that no longer serve you any rejection you faced see it as a redirection to something greater for you let go of the need to understand or make sense of it trust that things happen for a greater divine purpose everything is unfolding sag this came out in the reverse and look at what we have here home and family under the deck this split the separation that's taking place here is not divine intervention. You know, sometimes, especially in tarot, we tell you guys, listen, this had to end so that you could learn your lesson, they could learn their lesson, and you're going to come back together and life will be beautiful. This is not the case here, Sag. This is not divine intervention. You are not separated from this person because the divine wants it to be that way. Home and family. Someone here has family or friends that are in their ear and they're allowing them to destroy this connection okay. tell me about Sagittarius please Sun Moon Rising Venus okay yeah this is a true soul tie connection here we've got soul connection partnership agreement soul contract we've got the Grim Reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life we've got keys on a ring many options decisions unconventional string along and one night stand Tell me about this Grim Reaper, please. Tell me about this Grim Reaper, please. We've got clock. Need time takes time, in time cycles, time to heal. Tell me about this Grim Reaper, please. Mirror. Marrying each other, self-image. Tell me about soulmates. Boat. Receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. Okay, so Saj, I hate to say this. Okay. All right, so what we have happening here is we've got somebody here that maybe was a player in the past. This is somebody that was all about one night stands, you know, having options and stringing along, okay? Now, I feel here, Sag, that what's happening is with Grim Reaper, Clock, and Mirror, I feel like something here has ended. I feel like you're trying to heal from it. And I feel like you guys are both blocking each other out. You guys are both not talking to each other, okay? Now, here's the, the deal. We've got soulmates and we've got boat. Receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues, love call, healthy choices, and karmic. So I feel like what's happening here, Sag, is this is a very strong soul tie. I feel like this is a karmic soul tie. It's a karmic loop that keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. The reason why you guys separating is not divine intervention is because, okay, how can I put this? There's a lesson that you need to learn with this person and you're not learning the lesson. The reason why you're not learning the lesson is because other people are getting involved and causing the separation between you two before you learn the lesson with this person. So you're going to feel insane chemistry with this person. You're going to feel like you guys are, are constantly trying to, you know, come towards one another, like a magnetic type of attraction. Okay. I feel like every time this person comes towards you and says that they love you, you feel like, you know, this could be a healthy choice for you. And then it goes bad right away because it's karmic. Okay, it's karmic. And I feel like before you could ever learn the car, because karmic relationships come in to teach us a lesson. And if you don't learn that lesson, what will happen is it's like a loop. It always comes back around. It always comes in. It's like Groundhog Day every time it happens. Right. So the lesson isn't being learned here, Sagittarius. So whatever needs to happen here, 
you know, you're not learning your lesson here. They're not learning their lesson. And that's why we saw pay attention to the red flags and forgiveness. Every time this person comes back around, there's forgiveness. There's, you know, I love you too. There is a very strong, you know, chemistry, magnetic attraction there because you guys are karmics. And it is, there's nothing in the world harder than breaking a karmic connection. You know, it's very difficult. It is very difficult. Um, yeah, Saj, and I feel like what's happening is you guys never really separate because you've learned the lessons. You separate because of other people getting involved. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Her throw in the reverse. Someone here is lying. Someone is being dishonest. Someone here doesn't want to see the truth of a situation. We've got Ingas. Um, so Ingas can be a, a very sexual card here. Uh, what I'm feeling, I feel like. Tell me more about Ingas. Yeah, Rado in the reverse. This never moves past the sexual connection. Yeah, this never moves past the sexual connection because there's something you're not seeing here, okay? Failure is always expected here. I feel like there's, you know, with Ingas, it's just it never moves past being a sexual connection. It never really takes off. This is a connection that never really has had a chance to get off the ground. Okay, let's pull some tarot here. Let's see what we got. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know today, please? What does Sagittarius need to know today, please? Tell me about Sagittarius. Okay, we've got the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. We've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And then we've got back together again in the reverse. <clears throat> Ten of Swords under the deck. So, Sag, here's the thing. At one point in time, this is someone that hurts you really badly. Okay? This is someone that hurts you really badly. And remember we saw that Grim Reaper? The connection should have probably ended there, but you've never learned your lesson from that point, or they've never learned their lesson. So every time this person comes back around, Sag, I feel like your intuition is telling you that you have to protect yourself. It tells you that you should not get back with this person or that nothing is ever going to come of reconciling with this person. Tell me about this high priestess. We've got the fool in the reverse. You don't trust this person. Your intuition tells you you can't trust this person to not take that leap of faith, to not fall in love. Tell me about the king of swords here. We've got um, the three of pentacles in the reverse. This person, it, it is not, it's never gonna, you, your intuition tells you it's never going to work between you and this person. This person is not a good teammate. They're not, you know, the three of pentacles in the upright talks about, remember how I told you about the tower? The three of pentacles in the upright talks about building a solid foundation, foundation so that anything you build on will not crumble. And this is not the person that you're going to be able to do that with. The foundation is there. It's all cracked and crumbling. And you could try to build a tower on that. It's just going to come crashing down. And there's something deep inside you, Sag, that knows that. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy here. Sag, I feel like one person is financially stable, independent. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is usually an energy of somebody that has it all and they're only missing that one pentacle. And that one pentacle is normally love. Love. So Sag, I feel like someone here is has a, an amazing life and they're just looking for somebody to share it with. And I feel like this is somebody that if you go near them, what will happen is they're not ascended. So what's going to happen is they're going to start taking pentacles from you. Do you understand? And before you know it, you're going to be at, you know, an eight of pentacles, a nine of pentacles, you know, a seven of pentacles. You're going to, you know what I'm saying? You're going to, uh, and then it's going to hit a five and then it's going to hit a four, you know? So it's like, it's like this person can only take from you. This is not someone that has anything to give to the connection. Tell me about back together again in reverse, please. We've got the six of wands. Okay. Okay. 
So cancer, uh, cancer, why do I keep saying cancer? Uh, Sagittarius, I'm sorry. Um, this is somebody that when they come back around with that six of wands energy, they give you this attention. It boosts your ego. It makes you feel good. But then again, there's just like warning bells, like large, large, loud, tornado sounding warning bells behind you. Okay. Don't get back with this person. Don't go near it. But at the same time, it's that feel good stuff that that draws you towards them. Okay. Okay, let's see. Tell me about Sagittarius in the present moment. We've got what do we got? Princess of Wands in the reverse, which is the page of wands in the reverse. Leo Sag Aries energy. The world card in the reverse, Sag. Yep, I already know. The hanged man, Piscean energy. Sag, this person is not honest with you or you're not being honest with yourself. The world card in the reverse is a karmic cycle that has not been completed. Lessons have not been learned. And with the hanged man here, you're going to continue to suffer in this connection until you learn that lesson. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Tell me about the Page of Wands in the reverse. The Lover's Card in the reverse, Gemini energy. So Sag, I feel like you feel such a strong draw to this person that you're thinking it's a divine counterpart, that you're thinking it's a, it's a soul tie and you're right, but you're wrong. It is not a, a, a soulmate that's coming in to stay. It's a soulmate that's here to keep, to um, to teach you a lesson and it's a very karmic lesson and it's one that you don't want to learn. Um, with the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Swords, I feel and the six of cups I feel like this has been the karmic loop you guys you know with that ace of wands energy you communicate you go out you'll travel somewhere you'll have sex and then with the nine of swords everything else is nothing but stress and grief you find yourself having nightmares you find yourself overthinking you find yourself thinking about this person to the point that you can't sleep at night and with the six of cups I feel like this has been an ongoing thing for a long time nine of cups and the ten of swords you get your hopes up with this person and then with the ten of swords and the three of swords it always ends in a lot of pain it always ends in a lot of pain with this person tell me about the world card in the reverse please the eight of swords you're going to be bound to this you're going to be bound to this until the lesson is learned tell me about the hanged man here for sagittarius please We've got the seven of wands until you learn how to overcome this situation, until you learn how to push this person away, um, you're not going to, um, you're not going to close out that cycle. This is someone that has direct access to you whenever they want it, whenever they want it. And you need to learn how to say no. Seven of Wands. You need to learn how to say no. This is six wands coming at you and one wand to protect yourself. So this person knows it's it's like, you know, like, have you ever heard the term throwing poop at a wall and seeing what sticks? They will throw one wand and if that doesn't stick, it's wand number two, wand number three, wand number four, and eventually something will catch you and they'll get it. You need to learn that no matter what this person says, it's a no, you know, it's a no, it, it doesn't work out. It's never worked out. Nothing works out. You know what I'm saying? I closed the door on you a long time ago. You hurt me severely a long time ago. It, it, so Sag, here's the thing. It's like you learned half the lesson. You shut this person out of your life a long time ago because with the Grim Reaper and the Ten of Swords, we see that this person hurt you to the point where you're never going to feel fully trust them again, but you keep giving them access to your energy. And that's where you learned the karmic lesson, but you didn't learn the karmic lesson so it's like you shut the door but you didn't lock it do you see what I'm saying that's the perfect perfect title for this video you shut the door but you didn't lock it so this person still has access to come in come in come in come in do you understand and that's the problem tell me about the near future for Sagittarius please the near future for Sagittarius we've got the devil in the reverse Capricorn energy we've got the eight of pentacles and we've got what is this the knight of wands in the reverse <sighs> 
Okay, so Sag, the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Pentacles, this is what we're dealing with here. The Eight of Pentacles, we saw the Nine of Pentacles, we're dealing with one person that is focused on working, focused on their independence, focused on having a future with someone. And with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, you're focused on someone who's unmotivated, someone here that is literally just in player mode, someone here that has no real goals for their future, they have no idea what they want. And with the Devil card in the reverse, this is a toxic you know you have to understand that the devil card in the upright is seriously just the lover's card okay um let me just show you this i know we're it's really we're really running out of time here but let me just show you this this deck just doesn't represent it clearly so i just want to show you something And of course, the cards I'm looking for are going to be like all the way at the bottom of the deck. They're going to be like the last two cards. Oh, we got one. This deck isn't even the traditional Rider weight. Okay. Yeah, this isn't the traditional Rider weight, but it's close enough. Okay. All right. So this is the lover's card, okay? We see the couple, see the couple, and then does this even have, oh, and then there's the snake at the bottom there. There's always a snake around this, okay? Now, as you can see here, with the devil card, this is, okay, see, now there's the couple again, the man and the woman on the floor, and the snake is right there. So the devil card is when the snake has taken over the connection. Okay, I just want to explain that to you. And you guys have the devil card in the reverse here. So this is breaking free of that connection, breaking free of that soul tie connection, breaking free of that karmic connection, because it, this person is just a snake and, and they're going to charm you. They charm like a snake and they bite like a snake. I mean, that's just the bottom line with this person, you know. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Ooh, caught that with my thunder thighs. Okay, let's see here. We've got the Ten of Wands and we've got the Four of Swords. Someone here gets bored quickly. This person that you're dealing with, they get bored quickly. It becomes annoying to them very quickly. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Yeah, see, Sag, you end up, you know, falling in love with this person. You end up really wanting to work on things with this person. You end up, you your hopes come up. Like, you, your hopes, this person makes you hope that something is actually going to happen here. But they get bored. They get bored. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You keep giving your love and your attention to this person that you should be shutting out. All this person has to do is come in and say, hi, what's up? And the Knight of Cups is one of, I. They, people say that the Knight of Wands is dangerous. I think the Knight of Cups is the most dangerous because the Knight of Wands will present themselves as like, you know, a fast moving energy, a passionate person. Like, you know, the Knight of Wands is someone that may try to sleep with you on the first night or someone that wants to move quickly or someone that you could tell they're very like, the Knight of Cups is a very charming and sweet and romantic energy. Do you understand? But, you know, they'll charm the pants right off of you, but they're still on a horse and they're still out the door the next morning. Okay. Yeah. Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, the Two of Swords, you know, the death card and attention is somewhere else. You see that, Sag? So what happens here is, Sag, after they get what they want from you, they start juggling you with third-party energies. And with the two of swords, the death card, scorpionic energy, and attention is somewhere else, they get bored. As soon as they get whatever they want from you, they get bored and start drifting off to other people and other situations. You know, they'll talk to romantic third parties about your relationship and listen to that romantic third party and drift off. Or they'll talk to friends and family and they'll be like, yeah, you're right. It's this isn't, you know, marriage material or this is I'm going to go find something else, you know. And with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, you really need to wake up to the fact that this is what you give your time and energy to, okay? So if you're going to shut the door, Sag, don't forget to lock it. 
Okay. All right, guys. I love you so very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.